Well, greetings, friends. It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush. And today I've got another watercolor. This one is one of the botanicals. And uh, I don't really have just one photo reference for it. I have a photo reference for the bird, a photo reference for the uh, apples, and a photo reference for the apple blossoms. So uh, I think I even have a separate photo reference for, for some apple leaves. So I compiled them all together and here we go. What I did was I sketched out very lightly with pencil and then I'm going over my lines with watercolor and will erase all the pencil lines as soon as I'm finished with this outline in watercolor. I enjoy doing these botanicals. They're really quite fun. Um, plus, since you don't have just one photo reference, you're, you're creating something that's just for you, just all your own. And it turns out quite original. I think they call these cedar wax wings, uh, but the little wax wing bird is uh, kind of uh, tan and um, has a little tuft on its head, kind of like a cardinal. So I'm putting my undercoat layers on my apples and uh, and the leaves and the bird. And as you can see, this paper is buckling. It is a wrinkly paper. The problem here is, I, I realized it after I drew the picture on and started painting, that this is a student grade paper. This isn't the nice watercolor paper I usually use. And the student grade paper has a a terrible buckle to it but once it's dry it, it dries fairly flat and if you can get past all this um, puckering and I keep thinking of seersucker <laughs> you know the fabric that has all these little layers um, the little dimples you see, as it dries, it, it dries fairly flat, although I still have a little bit of a, uh, a warp. <coughs> hey, shh. My little dog hears people outside. <clears throat> Neighbors. So this week, I have been looking into uh, some of my dad's old stories. My dad uh, passed away about 28 years ago been a long time and I still miss him and he died fairly young but um, he had such a marvelous sense of humor and um, this terrific accent he he grew up in southern Indiana right on the Ohio River kind of a Tom Sawyer Huck Finn type of a character And as a lot of men are, he was fairly private, and um, we had to, we, we sisters had to beg him, oh, Dad, please tell us a story. Tell us a story about when you were growing up. And he told a lot of stories about his brother, Butch, and him. His brother was a good deal younger, I guess, five years or so younger than he and he considered his brother somewhat of a pest always following him around <laughs> as brothers often do and so he he tried to uh, ditch him as often as possible on this one occasion he told about, he said that um, 
His mother insisted that Butch could go along with him if he could keep up. And determined that Butch was not going to keep up, he hopped on the horse bareback and rode off. But that, um, that Butch, he called him a varmint, that varmint was um, pretty fast and was managing to keep up with him pretty well. So he got to a turn in a bend in the road jumped off the horse, hid in the bushes, and waited until Butch um, ran by, as he put it, huffing and a-puffing, and pumping his arms, picking him up and putting him down. And he admitted that he felt a little twang of guilt when he saw the boy run past with all his might. But he dismissed it and went off with his buddies. <laughs> oh, that must have been something. The thing is, um, Uncle Butch is just like my father, and I, I love to hear him talk because he has that same twang. He has my father's voice. He uses some of the same inflections. And uh, it's just marvelous to hear Butch talk. And he looks so much like my dad. It's almost like seeing dad again. So they're telling me that Uncle Butch has cancer and has just a little, a little while left with us and he will be the last surviving sibling of my father's. Once he goes, that's, that's it. All the others have passed already. As a matter of fact, one of the aunts passed this year from COVID. And it's kind of sad to think about. It's like a ending of an era So I'm just about there with this um, cedar wax wing, putting a little bit of the rusty color underneath the wings there, putting all the little lines on the apples. I still have a little bit to do with the um, apple blossoms up above the top of the picture.
just about finished with this picture here, as you can see. I hope you are all being safe, that you're staying healthy, and that all is well with you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch me paint my little speed painting here. my finished cedar wax wing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me paint this watercolor. Check out some of my links below. I have books and um, I have a page on Patreon where people are supporting my artwork, which is really cool. Do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I just love knowing people are watching. Bye now. See you next time.